Okay, this YouTube video is going to be about taking the HD video that you create with your iPhone or video recorder and rendering it properly so that you can upload it as a full HD video file into YouTube. And uh, let's start right off. So you've got your um, video file and you've loaded it into somewhere in your computer and you're going to create a this is Sony Vegas uh, Studio HD Platinum 11.0 and uh, we're going to create a new project once you've taken the, the video. You can actually take it right from your card, but it's better to load the video into a file and then work from a file because once you pull the card out of the computer, Vegas won't recognize it. And so you've lost your your video. Anyhow, when you... I'm using a Panasonic camera, and when you make a a high resolution HD 1920 by 1080p recording it has a, a setting of 1920 by 1080 by 60p which means progressive scan and choosing a new project and choosing a format to go with you have these selections here none of which have 1920 by 1080 60p so you got 60i, 24p, 60i, 24p, HD video doesn't come close. There's no 1920 at all. Digital video, nothing. DVD you don't want. Blu-ray you don't want. Internet video you don't want. It's it just, just not high enough. What you want to do is you want to match the settings of the program to the video that you've already shot. So you browse into your HD folder. These are all your HD videos. You choose one because they're all HD. You open it and then v Vegas knows that it's going to be 1920 by 1080 by 59.94 uh, fields per second uh, progressive. Um, if it was a capital F, it'd be frames per second, but it's fields per second, so that is pretty much uh, an NTSC standard. You've got two fields for every frame, so there's 60 fields per second, which works out to 30 frames per second. So this is what you want. So we're going to test, we're going to give this a name. We're going to call it test video number one. And we're going to manage that and we're going to say OK. Now the project is set up to the video that you're going to pull in. So you go over to Project, you import your media, you pull out, um, let's say, two videos that you want to do, and they drop into your project. Then you take the videos and you drag them down into the timeline. We don't want 5.1 surround mode, so we tell it no. And then we look at the video and we decide, hmm, well, let's see, we want it to, uh, we want it to end right about here. So then we split it and we delete it and then we look at the robin. Uh, the robin wakes up right about here, I think. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay. So we'll edit that. Do that. Merge the two. So then it goes from the tree right into the robin. Okay, we've completed the video. We've got our high definition video that we want to put up. So the next thing we want to do is we want to save the project. So we save it as test video number one. Then we go over here and we want to render it. 
Now there's lots and lots of choices to this rendering. Um, you pull up the rendering uh, window, and you look. Most some of these are they're split, like half are audio and half are video. And what you're looking for is an MP4. Now MP2 will also work, but MP4 is what YouTube wants you to upload your HD videos as, so that you can maintain the high resolution of your original video and mp4 will do that so there's two choices you've got main concept which has um, uh, mp4 which is right here and but it doesn't have if you click on the 1080p it shows you down here that it's 1920 by 1080 progressive but it's 12 megabits per second and the video recorders that I'm using are 25 uh, megabits per second. So, and the field rate is wrong of 29.97 fields per second. We're looking for 60 fields per second, so this isn't going to work. So, main concept is out of the equation. The next, the one that works for me and the one that I think you should choose is Sony AVC. Sony AVC has got a lot of choices in it. Well, if you go down to the bottom, it says HD 1920 by 1080 60p. Well, that's what we want. It's 59.94, 1920 by 1080, and it's 26 megabits per second. Perfect match. Now, here, here's the trick. And if, and if you just render right out of here, nine times out of ten, your computer's going to crash. It's just something that I've run into and it took me hours and hours to figure out why it was crashing. And here's the trick. You go to Customize Template. You've got all these settings in Customize Template which are essentially what you've opened up over here. But down at the bottom here it says Encode Mode. It has Automatic as Recommended. Well, I'm here to tell you it's not recommended by me. So we're going to click on that, and you want to choose Render Using CPU Only, OK? And that will make it work. Then you say OK, and then you go into Rendering, and then it will render your project, depending on how many videos and how long it'll take it about. A three-minute video will take about 25 minutes to render. and Pretty much uh, that is it, and you should have no problem uh, if you just use these simple steps to taking your HD video and rendering it using a few tricks that I just showed you. Thanks for watching, and have a lot of fun with your HD video.